So he won't do it again. You. Sorry, love, I thought you'd gone to work. Day off. Been to the shops. How'd you get in? A spare key out the back. Right. Well, it won't be there anymore. Fine. Happy anniversary. If only. Well, as happy as it can be, of course. And what am I meant to do with them? I haven't got anything big enough. What about that vase with the handles, the big one? The one, you know, the one we always said you was going to put me ashes in? Danny, I don't want them anyway. No? Well, what do you think? That I want flowers from you strewn all over the house? Well, I ain't going to do any harm, love, are I? Well, hey, listen, if you don't want them, Frank, just chuck them in a the bin. Yeah, I might just do that. And so what if I hadn't done anything? Hey, what would you have thought then? Oh, we don't care. I know you don't care. You've proved that. Well, now I'm trying to prove that I do, love. So you brought me flowers. Thanks. Fine. So how are you, then? Been better. How's life of Oliver Reed? She stopped drinking. No. Yeah, I wouldn't have believed it either. Well... Frank, to be fair, at least with her here, you've got a bit of company, love, ain't you? Whereas me, stuck in that you know, I'm going to go bonkers one of these nights, stark staring man a twist, love. Yeah, and who's false that, eh? Anyway, happy anniversary, even though I know it's not. But, Frank, I promise you, next year's is going to be fantastic. You say you're not working, love. Does that mean you're going to be in all afternoon? Chip. Good. Why? <laughs> oh! How could I know? He thinks all I have to do is say yes. He moves back in and we're straight away back to normal. Yeah, well, he's pretending that's what he thinks. He knows it ain't going to be that easy. I was dreading today. I knew he'd do something. It wouldn't be Danny if he didn't. Yeah. Oh, hello. Hiya. Oh, goodness. Anniversary. Funny. He never sent me any flowers when it was ours. Lucky you. He's probably charged them to the business anyway. So, uh, uh, Gather, you've started at the bookies? Oh, yeah, just half a day today till I know what's what. Oh, look at me. Look at what I'm doing, I, without even thinking about it. I, I'm, I'm doing what I always do when I just come in and get myself a drink. Except I don't anymore, do I? Not now. Sorry, what were you asking me? So is it hard not drinking? Yeah, harder sometimes than others. So, Danny Boy's trying to worm his way back in, is he? I can't say I'm surprised. You know he tried to come back to me after I'd found him with you. I said, no, thanks, I don't need you. I've got a bottle to keep me company. And I did have... old liner bottles lined up one after the other. I think I'll have a cup of tea. You two all right? Come into the house for ten minutes. Go on, then. So after everything he's done, he thinks he can waltz in here with a bunch of flowers and ask him to solve everything. I hope you told him where to stick them. He always was one for the grand gesture. I mean, a birthday or something would have been bad enough. But the anniversary of your engagement, he's winding you up. He wasn't going to let today go by without something. It's a Danny tradition. I still haven't had a drink. Good. Well done, Mum. And Eric, from the bookies, he offered to take me for one at dinner time, but I said I couldn't, that I had something else on. Well, I didn't want to say that I was a... No. Why should you? Just make an excuse. If he keeps asking, I'll say I'm dieting. I'm not drinking because I'm on a diet. What do you keep looking at the flowers for? I'm just wondering what to do with them. He's getting to you, isn't he? No. No, he isn't. And he's not going to either. He said I've got a. That man gets women so wrong. Yeah. You want to put up your own balloon? Danny, it's over. Frankie. He still wouldn't get the message. I've 
told him until I'm blue in the face. It can't have been cheap either, can it? I mean, what do you expect me to do? Fling my arms around him? Well, obviously. Yeah, arrogant little twerp. Frankie, I love you. The only person he loves is himself. He probably thought that by doing something in public like that, he'd back you into a corner. Back me into a corner, sweetheart, and I'd come out fighting. He should know that. Sad, really. He's obviously desperate. Well, at least you put him straight. Look on his face. The trouble is, no matter what I say, he keeps coming back for more. He won't give in. I feel like I'm being hounded. Do you want me to have a word with him, tell him to stay away? No, no. I can fight my own battles. I just wish he'd accept it's over. Go, Mum, it's all been arranged. It's a waste of time. She won't go to her meeting. I'm managing fine as it is. I don't want to sit around with a load of drunks. Mum, you've got to talk to your counsellor, then he can get to the bottom of why you drink. Please, it's only an hour. Jamie's right, you need professional help. Can't I just stay in with you? I really think you should go, Carol. I can't go. I feel ashamed. Everyone's going to be looking at me. I'll make a fool of myself. I'll wait in the car for you, and then we can go to the pictures or something. Please, Mum, do this for me. You again? All right, Frank, I just thought I'd let you know that Banner's down. Good. Anyway, look, I I'm sorry I embarrassed you. You know, stupid of me, really, wasn't it? You know me. Any things you have a cup of tea? What? Oh. No, I know. You've had enough of my physique for one day. For a lifetime. Just five minutes, though, Frank, eh? Please. Five minutes just to say my piece and I'll get out of your ear. For good, I swear to you. Right, well, come on, get it over with then. Ah, uh, OK. Um, well, uh, Mike, who, by the way, did the weirdest thing today? I gave him this cheque to bank. Why are you telling me this? Well, um, I'm sorry, I'm rambling, and, um, and that's... because I think it's what I miss most, just talking to you. you know, usually about nothing in particular. Anyway, um, Mike thinks that, um, uh, <laughs> I'm not making a very good job of this, am I? It's been a day for it. He, he thinks that I should throw in the towel, you know, and accept the inevitable where me and you are concerned. It's good advice. You should take it. OK. Trouble is, Frank, I can't. Because every morning I wake up thinking of you and missing you, trying to rack my brains thinking of something, anything, that'll make you give me another chance. You know, I mean, hot air balloons. What was I thinking of? I must be nuts. Not one of your better ideas, Danny, I must admit. No, right. And the girls across the road, I mean, they'll be able to take the mick out of me for decades. But you know what's worse, Frank? No. Well, I'm probably going to come up with an equally a stupid idea tomorrow, convinced that this time it's bound to get through to you. I'm staying inside, doors locked. That's why I had to come round, see? So as I could look you in the eye and, and tell you that you mean everything to me. I'll do anything to get you back, Frankie. And I'll never give up trying, no matter what you say or do. You ought to go for me. I'm not saying you should try and forgive me. I don't expect that. But we could try again, couldn't we? Hey, We could try again, Frank, and I swear to you, I'll never, ever do anything again to hurt you. Ever. I couldn't put 
help myself through that again, love. I've heard all this before, Danny. It doesn't mean anything. Nothing you say means anything. But we could move, couldn't we? Why don't we move, eh? I'll sell my piece of the business and stuff. Moving up here was our last chance, Danny. You can't keep hurting me over and over and just expect me to carry on. But I know you still feel something for me. I know that. I can see it in your eyes, Frank. I saw it this afternoon. Just for a split second, I saw it. I can see it now. I love you, Frank. I really do. What's he doing here, Frank? It's OK, Jamie. We was just talking. I told you to leave her alone. This is my house, remember? Yeah? Well, she doesn't want you here. Jamie! Frank, get out! Frank, we was only talking. Get your hands off me. Now, you stay away. <laughs> 